SpaceX is building the biggest rocket ever in Boca Chica, Texas, and we have word that they will be testing the 33 Raptor 2 engines next week in Boca Chica at Starbase, Texas. Now, we have to get into a little bit of evidence here because this has been on our minds for weeks, months, possibly years for some of you out there that want to see the Starship launch. And there's certain things that SpaceX has to do in order to launch this rocket. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. This next one, this is the highway for Boca Chica Beach road closures for Starbase. Monday, January 30th, Tuesday, January 31st, Wednesday, February 1st, between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., the road will be closed. That means they're going to be doing something at Starbase. We're not exactly sure what they're doing, but we have an idea of what could go down at Starbase next week. So check this out. I want to show you this too. SpaceX, after completing Starship's first full flight like wet dress rehearsal, Ship 24 will be destacked from Booster 7 in preparation for a static fire of the Booster's 33 Raptor engines. Now that actually happened. They did the full wet dress rehearsal at Starbase, Texas. This is great. Worked perfectly. As far as we know, everything went off without a hitch. And then the next thing that happened, they destacked Ship 24 from Booster 7 at Starbase. They moved it to the Rocket Garden. Now, usually the ships that go to the Rocket Garden get dismantled. And it's a horrible sight because we love all of these rockets. We love all these ships. But Ship 24 is in the Rocket Garden for storage right now. There's no room in the high base for it. There's no other place to put it. So it has to go to the Rocket Garden just to hang out for a little bit while they prepare Booster 7 for a full-fledged 33 engine Raptor 2 test firing coming up in the next week or two. Now we have, like I was saying before, we have a little bit of information about that. Now maybe next week we'll have a 33 engine static fire of the super heavy booster. SpaceX's Bill Gerstenmeyer says at AIAA SciTech this morning, somebody from SpaceX, somebody who's part of the SpaceX team, it's part of the booster team and part of the Starship team says he adds that there is still a lot of work to do before attempting that long anticipated static fire. And this isn't just some rando at SpaceX. This is William Bill Gerstenmeyer. Check out the credentials here. Bill is an aerospace engineer and policymaker who is vice president, build in flight reliability at SpaceX. So Bill knows what's going on down at Starbase. This coming from somebody that's part of SpaceX signifies that they're really close to a static fire of the booster for the launch of Starship 24 and Booster 7 for the first orbital flight test. And this is going to be an amazing thing. Now, if you think this is going to be an amazing thing, let me know in the comments below. When do you think it's going to static fire? He says they still have a lot of work to do, right? And I think it's just kind of, he's just kind of putting it out there. Bill's just putting it out there like, hey, if we get this, if we get all this stuff done, if we work 24 seven, we could possibly get a static fire next week. 33 engine static fire. There have been people saying they're going to do a, another 14 engine static fire. This booster already had a 14 engine static fire. So if they go back to that, test it again, it's reasonable to do that, right? But could they go on to a 22, possibly 24 engine static fire before they do the 33? There's really no reason to, because they don't need only 20 something engines. They need 33 engines for the static fire. Now there's also been talks of a deluge system entering the Starbase area coming from Florida. So we can go back to the road closures here. Take a look at this Monday between eight and eight, Tuesday between eight and eight, Wednesday between eight and eight possible closure each one of those days. Closer canceled <gasps> from Monday the 30th. It's canceled. Why didn't I see that the first time? So Monday is canceled. Tuesday, possible closure. Wednesday, possible closure. So I take all that back if I said that earlier, that it was closed. It's not. Closure's canceled. Beach is open on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, possible closure. So could they be moving stuff from Florida to Starbase for the static fire, for the deluge system? Because if they put a deluge system in place before the static fire... They have to test that too. They can't just test the static fire and the deluge system all at once 
and think that it's going to work perfect the first time, right? They have to test each part separately and then they can move on to the next step. If they test the deluge system, they have to install the deluge system too. That could take a few days. The pipes are already there. The tanks are already there. Maybe they're moving those tanks, which are part of the deluge system, down to Starbase one of these days, Tuesday or Wednesday. So not Monday, though. Remember that because I, <laughs> I got that wrong. So please, somebody probably got pointed that out in the comments already. Like, hey, yeah, that's not closed, buddy. <laughs> but the closure is canceled on Monday. So maybe they're moving those tanks down there next week. And then since somebody at SpaceX said, hey, we're getting ready for this thing. I think it's going to be two weeks from now. I think they're going to move in, possibly move in the uh, the deluge system of some sort. They're going to move it in, truck it down, do some testing with it next week. And then after they test it out, then they can sure enough do the static fire of 33 Raptor 2 engines. But I want to know what you think, because I, I, I really do think it's going to be not next week. I think it's going to be the next week. And I'm not a SpaceX guy. I don't work for SpaceX. I've no, I know some people that work at SpaceX, but I don't work there right now. So I'm only saying this because I think they need a deluge system before they launch in some small capacity. They need to have something there. So the 33 Raptors don't obliterate the, the orbital launch mount and everything around it. I mean, it's the, the most powerful rocket that's ever going to be flown. So it seems like logically every rocket before this has had a deluge system. Why wouldn't this rocket have one? And why is this any different? And I know they have different concrete under this orbital launch mount. So that's a thing too, that we have to think about. The new concrete may be able to absorb 33 engine static fire. And if it doesn't, and this static fire just obliterates the OLM. They're going to be set back six months to a year. And that's not good for the whole program. Because if they have to rebuild the OLM, uh, building a booster is easy for them now. Not for me, but for them. It's super easy for them to build a booster. They have a bunch of them now. Uh, build a Starship. Ship 25, Ship 26, Ship 27, Ship 20. On and on and on. It's pretty normal for them to build a ship now and a booster. So it's a possibility that they just wait a little bit. Just wait, just wait a minute. Just wait, a, just wait a week, get some sort of deluge system in place and then do the static fire just to be safe. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, because I think you may have the answer too. Sometimes I don't have the answer. Sometimes, you know, I'm a fan just like you. I, I've been doing this for four years. February 14th, by the way, Valentine's Day is going to be the four year anniversary of this channel. So anyone who's been here since the beginning, thank you. Anyone who's just coming here, please take a second, hit the subscribe button and become part of the community. And also we have a link to discord in the, in the description below. So please check that out. Come join us. And also I'll see you next time. I want to see what happens with this thing. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait for this 3300 static fire. It's going to be, it's going to blow my mind. It's going to blow my mind. So what do you think? Either way, if it goes next week or the week after, it's going to be super cool. Thanks everybody. I'll see you next time.